Hey everyone, uh, it's William Close here, and I am here in the Strings of the Earth Heart. I'm here in my studio in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, the strings are, are going from the bass here and shooting all the way down to the end of the studio. Actually, I'll pan the camera so you can check it out. Goes all the way down. All right. I'm going to get back uh, So yeah, I'm, I'm here to uh, make some music today uh, in uh, celebration of Lightning in a Bottle Festival. The Lightning in a Bottle Festival, LIB. What an amazing festival run by some amazing people. And it is an honor to be here um, to uh, play some music for you. So I'm going to be playing uh, some, some, some of these strings and uh, making some good sounds. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, all right. Here we go.
left here in my stream uh, so I thought I'd walk you around the studio here a little bit and show you some of the instruments I've invented obviously behind me that's the earth harp uh, it gets its title from the first time I strung it across a canyon uh, from one side to the other turning the canyon into a giant harp which I mentioned before um, let's see what else do I have in here uh, oh, well, the earth harp also, some fun facts about it. I've strung it to the top of skyscrapers and top of mountains, all sorts of places. Um, we strung it to a skyscraper in Singapore, and Guinness was there and the World Record Association, and we got the world record. So it's a world record instrument. 
longest instrument on the planet, stringed instrument. Uh, this is kind of a cool piece here. Uh, this is the violin jacket. And uh, yeah, the violin jacket's really got some wild sounds that come out of it. I'm sort of working on it right now. It needs a little TLC, but as you can see, it's got all these violin strings on it and um, it's pretty epic. So I love that piece. Let's see what else I got in here. Um, there's the earth harp. Here's one of the uh, drum clouds. Um, I do these big drum forms uh, that are inspired by nature and uh, the patterns in nature. And here's one of them, um, surrounded by some epic gongs and uh, some nice sounds there for sure. Um, uh, yeah, my, I have a free hand. I could probably play it a little bit. <laughs> Um, all right, so now we're moving out from uh, here into this other room I have over here. Oh, there on the, the wall there, that's a pretty cool piece. That's, um, it's uh, MIDI sensors, and so you can play those little bowls, which is kind of cool. And let's see what else I got in here. Oh, this is, a, that's a classic. That's, um, those are all sensors that you can touch and, and make sound. This is one of the first harps right here that I ever made. Uh, it's called the tube harp and it's got a great sound. It's electric. This piece, this is the Aquitar. It's a three neck guitar sculpture. Kind of cool. Let's see if I can get it in the shot there. Oh yeah, Aquitar. Um, yeah, that's some of the pieces. This is a pretty classic over here. I put a bathtub in here and ran strings to it. So um, when you're taking a bath, you can uh, play the um, play the bathtub. It's truly a sound bath. That's right, sound bath. All right. Um, anyway, that's pretty much uh, all the stuff I have set up right now. But just wanted to give you a little studio tour. Um, once again, here we are in the main studio. Got a grand piano that uh, Sean Barry is going to be playing that with me tomorrow and. Uh, yeah, um, or no, on Sunday, excuse me. So anyway, thanks, for, thanks so much for listening and watching. Much love to you. Take care.